For this review we're back to the super large scale model and the box for it was delivered in an outer shipping carton and as it says on the outside there's a battery included. Let's open up the shipping carton and first out are some spacers and then we need the super heavy lift hand cranes to get the model out. After some expert heavy lifting we can see the model box and it's large because the scale of the model is large at 1 to 18. The model is by NZG and it's the latest version of the Mercedes-Benz Actros Gigaspace and the model number is 1024-30. This particular limited edition is in a green colour. Opening the box we see the usual pair of trays and is also an instruction manual and we will take a look at that shortly. In the top tray there's a small lift out piece and then we get a bag and that's got a few goodies inside. After that we can do the ceremonial tape cutting using a sharp knife and when we lift the top tray off we get our first sight of the model inside. The instructions tell you how to lift out the model correctly and that's to avoid the risk of any damage. After that it's another test for the muscles of the giant hand cranes and again we see another expertly supervised heavy lift. With the model safely set free, let's take a look at the instructions. And it's all simple enough. It firstly tells you how to take the model out of the box correctly. And then the main features of the model are described. As the box suggested, there are electronics and a battery to fit. And the instructions tell you how to do that too. Also included is a small note which is there to satisfy regulatory concerns. We saw there was a bag of parts and included in the bag are a set of gloves, a screwdriver, the battery and a couple of wheel chocks. As far as assembly is concerned there's only one thing to do and that is to install the battery that powers the electronics. The holder for the battery is under the cab and the supplied screwdriver helps you get the cover off and the battery itself is a large button type. It clips into place and then you replace the cover and then there's an on off switch but that doesn't actually work the electronics it just brings the battery online. Let's now look at the relative size of the model and we start with 1 to 87 scale on the left. Next up is a 1 to 50 scale and then we can swiftly follow that with a 1 to 32 scale. Now it's time to bring in this model which is the big boy at 1 to 18 scale. So it's huge and it's also made by NZG so that means it's got a very high metal content. Let's bring in the world famous Cranes Etc Weybridge and we'll put the Actros on it to see its gravitational effect. And indeed it is heavy at around 4 kilos or 9 pounds. This model is an Actros 4x2 and starting underneath the chassis is very detailed. The underside of the engine is finely modelled and equally convincing are the big tanks and the exhaust system. These are all nicely modelled in metal. In various parts of the chassis there are soft hoses and the detailing is all of a fine quality. The drive shaft is nicely modelled and the rear axle detailing is also to a very high standard. The roof is nicely formed, there are air horns and nice ridging across the roof surface. There are stub aerials and the roof light has a nice frame. There are two other aerials modelled using stiff wire and there's a very good looking light bar with large spotlights. Nicely modelled in chrome is the Gigaspace name badge. It's always a nice touch to see that the roof light is actually see-through and even the visor above the windscreen has got some fine detailing. Looking in through the windscreen you can see that the interior detail is really good and there are nice thin windscreen wipers. Moving down from the windscreen and the Mercedes-Benz badges are nicely formed and the mesh grille is very convincing. The headlight cluster is modelled and we'll see more of that later. And the model also has a number plate which in this case is generic as it's an NZG number plate. 
Even the small intakes on the side are modelled well. This is a particularly attractive model with the big logo and green colour scheme. The windows have got the seals indicated. And there are no mirrors because this truck uses video cameras. The graphics are very sharp and the door handle is very realistic. And the steps up into the cab have got a nice texture. The wheels on this model also look particularly good but there's no branding in the sidewall of the tyres. There are also steps up onto the rear walkway. Moving to the rear axle and it also looks particularly good in the black colour scheme. And there are matching black wheel arches. So it is all very attractive. On the back of the cab all of the shaping in the panels is faithfully modelled. As are things such as the side supports to the fairings. The model has a full set of coiled lines. And the walkways behind the cab are also excellently textured. In fact all of the detailing of the rear end is particularly pleasing. And that's because the large scale allows some high detail. It's also nice that the tanks have the separately detailed filler caps. At the back the lights have nice lenses. And there are also wheel chocks and more textured parts. Firstly let's test out the Actros on the Cranes Etc Super Highway and because it's a heavy model it rolls nice and smoothly. The chassis has also been implemented with working suspension and it's got a nice stiffness. The other thing to test is of course the steering and the good news is it does not let the model down. It does achieve a very realistic angle which looks great. And with the wheels turned as much as possible, the model still rolls very nicely. Moving to the fifth wheel and it has a tilting plate. And the kingpin lock is fully functional. What good is a cab if you can't get into it? Well on this model the doors open to an excellent angle. And it's nice that the armrest on the driver's seat does go up and down. Whilst the door is open it's great to see all the detail inside the cab. And the only thing it's lacking is some empty coffee cups and some dirt. But in all other respects it's very realistic. Moving to the front of the cab and there's an opening front grille. And there's some pleasing detail to be seen underneath. The whole of the cab can be tilted and you need to open the front grille first. And then with a steady careful hand you can push the cab forward. And as you can see it tilts to an excellent angle. Looking under the cab the modelled engine is a treat. And in this scale it really looks like a real engine. It has lots of separate components. And the only thing that looks slightly out of place is the wiring for the electronics. So let's get on to that and the model has working lights. And they are turned on and off by a touch sensitive panel in the air intake. And this is a really nice solution, so much better than having to flick a switch that's hidden underneath. The lights themselves are nice and they make the model stand out. Although it might have been nice if the headlights had been slightly brighter. And at the back the rear stop lights really do stand out. And they look particularly good. Of course the Actros really deserves a trailer. And you can attach NZG's container trailer. This is in a matching 1 to 18 scale. And it attaches nicely to the fifth wheel. Once it is attached it functions very well. With all of the trailer wheels properly grounded. And the model also looks great when you then add on a shipping container. This is another hugely impressive large scale model by NZG. The working lights have been very nicely implemented. 
And even without them the Actros looks great in this colour scheme. So if you want a very large and impressive Mercedes-Benz Actros model, this one is excellent. Thank you.